Hello and welcome to the Guna Tour. Back again with you guys for another show. I mean, these transfer deals. <laughs> every single day, we're months, months from the transfer window. And yet every single day someone new crops up. Uh, which is fine, because it means we get to cover them and educate you guys on, on who they are. Um, but this one has been sort of lingering uh, since January. We are today talking about Lille's centre-back, or Brazilian centre-back, Gabriel. Um, I mean, we've had one Gabriel, one Brazilian Gabriel, for that matter. Um, and things didn't work out too great. So if this one works out, he's not got too much of a benchmark to beat in terms of overtaking our previous Gabriel. But um, Gabriel from Lille is a very exciting young, 22 years old, uh, talent that has been highly rated across uh, Europe and is being touted with moves to not just Arsenal but some really really big clubs as well and he was subject to some bids from Arsenal during the January transfer window reportedly and these were very firmly knocked back and I can understand why they were considering Arsenal did not have much money to play with and that probably meant that, that those bids were fairly low. He's looking like he's going to command a fee of around £30 million and we're going to go into a little bit about his details in a second but before we do please make sure you like, subscribe and join us as a member if you would like as well where you get access to loads of exclusive content. But let's get straight into the video and get our expert insight. As always with these shows, we'd like to give you some expert insight. And today is no different. And when it is someone from League 1, we like to make sure that we get our top-notch French correspondent, Jeremy Smith. So take it away, Jeremy. Talk to us about Gabriel. The latest defender or French-based defender linked with Arsenal is now Gabriel, who's playing at Lille at the moment. And um, I, don't, I don't think it's a bad... Um, prospective signing at all he's still quite young still a little bit raw but showing so much potential and a big improvement over the last two to three years Lille brought him in very young he was sent on loan to, to Zagreb and also to Troyes in in France as well and actually played very little for both those teams but has quickly pushed his way into the French into the Lille team he's actually kind of forced their previous club captain Sumaro to, to leave the club because he pretty much took his place in the team and he forms a really good left-right partnership with Jose Font and sort of with that partnership in mind I could see Gabriel working really well maybe next season with Saliba um, usually there's a lot of clubs who kind of have a liking for one more sort of cultured centre-back who, who's a good ball player and the other who's more of a physical presence. But um, if they had Saliba and Gabriel, they actually have two players who could do both. Um, Gabriel's left foot is, which provides a nice sort of counterbalance to Saliba. He's tall, he's strong, he's really good in the tackle, could be a little bit better in the air considering how tall he is. Um, but yeah, he's got that physical presence, but he's also a very good ball player. Um, I know that in discussions I've had with, with Arsenal uh, fans, I'm personally not a fan at all of David Luiz. And generally Arsenal fans will say, yeah, he's got his defending's a little bit dodgy, but you know he needs to be in there for, for his passing ability. If Gabriel carries on his sort of learning curve in that respect, then I don't think Luiz would be missed at all because Gabriel, for me, is already a much better defender. And certainly with his ball playing, especially his sort of trademark ball over the top, which um, sort of provided the platform for so many goals, particularly last year with Pepe running onto them, I really think that Gabriel ultimately could be a, a big step up from, from Luiz and, and, as I said, a really good potential partnership with Saliba. A partnership between Saliba and Gabriel does make you water at the mouth ever so slightly when it's described in such a fashion. Passing ability, defensive ability, he seems to have a lot, but it's very important to understand whether the statistics back up these words as well. So let's jump straight into those, but before we do, please make sure you give Jeremy a follow on Twitter at Jeremy Smith. 97. Thank you ever so much, Jeremy, for tuning in once again and helping us out. But let's go into our trusty heat map and find out where this guy plays. So as Jeremy said, he is left-footed. He plays on the left-hand side, and that clearly shows how much of an influence he has on that left-hand side. He's played a lot of minutes this season. He does like to push up now and again, but he's a very disciplined player and he does like to just sit in, keep his position, um, and, and do really, really well in the quarter that he is 
uh, basically demanded to, to be in and that is a very very intense heat map as well you, typically you don't see huge amounts of red in a centre back but he's mobile he moves about uh, and that is definitely positive for a player that needs to come into the Arsenal if we have a look at his defensive stats 5.49 duels and he's winning 70% of those that is one of the best statistical percentages we have ever seen on tactical breakdown for a center back that is very impressive so you can see why this guy is being very highly rated 4.78 aerial jewels he's very tall six foot three about the height of uh, and a 66.2 percent success rate again very impressive sliding tackles uh, he's, he's not making too many of those and he doesn't have the hundred percent that we've been seeing uh, seeing over the last few weeks um, but that is because he gets involved with them more and he doesn't always make them successfully. But 64.3% is decent. 5.8 in, uh, interceptions per game is also very nice. Losing the ball eight times in a game with 44% of those being in his own half, we you expect it to be that high for a centre-back. But eight's not too bad. We've seen loads of losses being over 10 uh, for the players that we've been reviewing. So that is one of the lower end of the scales that we've seen so far. Recoveries is really good though. 12 uh, recoveries in each game. It's always good to see when there's more recoveries than there is losses. That's definitely a positive thing with 11%. He's a centre-back, so you're not going to see much of a percentage in the opposition half, but it is around 11. Uh, he doesn't block too many shots. 0.5 in each game. Clearances, 3.26. He does like to get the ball out of danger, which is good for Arsenal fans because we get fed up with people overplaying the ball at the back. He's quite disciplined, in fairness. One yellow card every five games, and he's only making one foul in each game as well, which is very positive too. So that's the defensive stats. Let's have a look at his passing stats. 51 passes with an 86.3% success rate. That's nice, but this is the part that I'm really, really impressed with. 7.79 long passes with a 50% accuracy. That's a very decent return for a centre-back who is giving you that extra dynamic. You can clearly see why Arsenal are in for him. If the Pablo Marie uh, deal does not work out this year and we look to sort of embed another passing centre-back into our team, you can clearly see why Arsenal have looked at Gabriel. That is a very impressive passing lineup there. Through passes, 0.68. You don't typically see many of those uh, in the game for a centre-back. Uh, 31.8% in terms of the accuracy of those, which is, is fairly standard. Crosses, uh, 0.19. Again, he's a centre-back. You don't typically see too much crossing from centre-backs. Second assist, again, an XA assist is always going to be low for a centre-back. Pass into the final third, though, nine with a 70% accuracy is OK. I'd like to see that a little bit higher for when he does make those balls over the top. Pass into the box, he doesn't have to make all that often as well, and you can see that when he does, it's not that accurate, 35.7%, but he's not going to be the guy that's going to be doing that, so we don't need to worry about that. Receive passes 35 in each game. That is significant because it shows that Lille like to use him as an out that they like to give them the ball as much as possible to then play the ball uh, and keep the ball ticking over, which is nice. Four passes, 22 to two, very, very positive centre-back. 75.9% accuracy in that sense and 95.9% in the backwards. So very, very positive and eye-catching passing stats, which you would expect to see from a centre-back of his abilities. Now move on to the attacking stats, which for a centre-back are always a bit of a laugh. Um, shots, I mean, those shots are all in the box because they're all coming from corners. We said this guy is six foot three. He has scored a goal this season. Um, and those shots that are coming in are going to be from when he wins those headers from corners. He can be a threat. He wins a fair amount of his aerial duels, and that's certainly a weapon that Arsenal will want to utilise. Uh, dribbles, he's not like Saliba. He's not a dribbling-styled centre-back. He is a very no-nonsense, gets the ball, plays it. Simple as that. Um, and I think that probably complements him. So to, to see Saliba and Gabriel sort of complementing each other and, and, and being sort of diverse in that way against each other, I think is definitely a positive thing. Offensive duels, 1.64 to 56.6% of those being won. Whenever he seems to get into a duel, be it in the opposition half, be it in his own half, it is extremely positive looking on those stats. It really, really is. And I'm very impressed to see those statistics so high. Defensively, this guy is very sound. And that is a very, very uh, enjoyable and a very, very uh, lucrative and attractive trait that this guy has. Touches in the box, not going to be too high. Offsides, not too high. Progressive runs and fouls suffered, not too high. That is what you expect from a centre-back. So there you go. Everything that you need to know regarding Gabriel. I'm very, very intrigued by this guy. I think that for the around £30 million that's being quoted, I think that's an absolute steal, uh, to be honest. I think that £30 million would be 
uh, way under what you'd expect to see a player of this guy's quality go for in European leagues. Ourselves and Lille have got a decent relationship, of course, doing the uh, around the 80 million euro uh, move for, for uh, Pepe last season. So that is already there. Arsenal already have their contacts there. So that's a positive thing that could allow this deal to get done as well. So I like that. But there's overall some really, really good feelings and thoughts surrounding this possible deal and i'd really like to know what your thoughts are as well so if you would like to leave a comment in the comment section below do not hesitate please let me know what you think uh, about gabriel because i think he's someone that certainly could add a little bit of dynamism and i mean guile to this arsenal side that desperately needs it in terms of the players that i think that he could be ousting we look at the likes of mustafi we look at the likes of socrates these guys probably need to be moved on come the summer there are other players in this side already chambers will be coming out from injury uh, in the new year which seems quite a long way away but it w he will be coming back rob holding gradually getting back up to fitness Marevo panos could be back uh, could be coming back from what is seeming to be a very curiously good loan spell at nuremberg maybe that's something that you would like to see on the tactical breakdown channel doing a loan watch on the greek defender i think that's something that we could have in the pipeline uh, in a few weeks' time, when he's had a little few more minutes to get on the ball. Um, but then you've got other players on the side. Uh, I mean, David Luiz is, is not going to get any younger. He's only going to be sort of a short fix for the couple of seasons that he's here. We need these young guys like Saliba and then possibly Gabriel to come in and really do us a favour in that sense. But that's my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with those notifications turned on. And join us as a member if you'd like to get loads of exclusive content. We've done loads of videos over the uh, recent weeks on transfers and matches and reactions. So please do go check those out. I'll see you again very, very soon. And as always, up the arsenal.